Can I point out one passage that I think is so beautiful that maybe we could miss in chapter 16? So this is with the jailer. After he and his household had accepted the gospel, and this is verse 32, and it says, They spake, spake unto him the word of the Lord and to, to all that were in his house. And he took them, so now the jailer takes Paul and Silas the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized, he and all his straightway. So even before he was baptized, don't forget what happened in the meantime, because these missionaries had been whipped. Mm -hmm. They had stripes on their back. by him. By him. But, exactly, exactly. And he went and he made right what was wrong. Mm. And that's what the gospel does to us. It, it changed him. It wasn't just, oh, I believe this is true. It, it, he it was brought humbled. A, he was humbled. He brought a new quality of love and he says, let me take care of these mm. wounds on your back. Oh, how would it have been to see oh, that you know, unfold, that to, to watch that story take mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. you know, just happening. An moment. unspoken piece of this is that Paul and Silas received that yeah. also, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So sometimes we can in, feel a little bit righteous, you know, and someone wants to <laughs> yeah, say, right, right. right uh, you know, I'm really sorry. Well, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> you should right, be sorry. Right, right. But they received that. They received that as humbly as they took it in the beginning. And he probably needed to do that mm -hmm. as part of his repentance, mm -hmm. right? I mean, he, he needed to make himself clean and make himself whole. And he did that by this act of compassion for them. Maybe his so. family needed to see that too. Totally. Sure. Yeah, yeah and, and like we've talked about throughout this whole thing, how would the jailer know that? He hasn't been baptized. So how would the jailer know that he needed to do that? The influence of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is guiding this person through this whole thing. It's, it's, it's a part that we sometimes don't remember as, as well, right? The Holy Ghost is guiding these people who we're... We're going to bear our testimony. We're going to take some bread over to somebody's house. We're going to welcome them to the neighborhood. We're going to invite them to come to church with us. And we think that, you know, it's all on us. But the Holy Ghost is guiding everybody. This is, this is how it happens, right? Both sides. Mm -hmm.